Today we're going to take a quick look at relationship types in the APS database and how they're then linked to the client types that you have created. Under our System Administration Consoles area, you'll see a new menu option called Relationship Types. If we come into this, we can see that we have a set number of relationships already created in our database. And again, you can customize these as it suits your business. For the purposes of today, we're going to create a relationship type called CEO. The reason being is that we have companies and individuals in our database, and we want to create a relationship of who the CEO is for a relevant company. We then put our reverse description, so that makes sure that when we look at a record, we're seeing the same description on either side. And we click Add. Adding the relationship is only part of the entire process, however. We also need to go into our client types area, and then say for which client types is that relationship valid to be created for. So in this case, we can see our individual. We would want to tick the box that says a CEO relationship can be created when I'm on an individual. We would then go to our company and say that we can also create a CEO relationship from the company as well to an individual. The reason you need to do this association is that some relationship types are not valid. If we look at a company, for example, we can see our spouse relationship is not ticked. So the idea being that you can't create a spouse relationship from a company to another record type in your business as that would then not make sense to any reports that are run.